Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to the fifth episode of my Terraria Summoner playthrough. We are back today, my friends. Once again, I just want to start by thanking you guys for the amount of support you've been showing for the series. We reached well over a thousand likes in the last episode. If we could keep that up, that would be absolutely amazing. Your guys' support, as always, is very much appreciated. But today, my friends, today, we're going to start off by doing a bunch of decorating because, as some of you guys have been pointing out, some of these houses are looking a bit bland. And obviously, you know... You know, the reason behind that is because we don't really have any resources yet because we're still at very early game. But there are a few things that I think I should be getting. Starting off with a mining helmet. We're going to buy one of these. We're going to buy a piggy bank as well. We're going to be going ahead and putting the piggy bank inside of the main house. So let's go ahead and make our way back over to the main house. We're going to go ahead and replace the bottle with... The piggy bank, so you can get placed down right there, Butsky, and we can go ahead quick stack that so we have ourselves 11 gold coins. Nice. Okay, and next we can go ahead and place this on, which of course will allow us to basically not need torches as much as we normally would, because obviously this provides light. We do have a decrease of one defense, but it is okay. I am totally fine with that. Okay, now then, uh, let's go ahead and place this bottle down here. So this now doubles up as an alchemy station, as well as a home for my little butterfly dude right there. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, guys, me and Squishy, we're going to be going ahead into the underground jungle and carrying on with our epic adventures of epicness. So, yeah. And of course, you guys were correctly pointing out the fact that the raincoat does provide two defense, which again, is better than nothing. So we're going to go ahead and put it on, even if it makes us look like a doofus, basically. Yeah, I like looking like a doofus, man. I like looking like a doofus. All right, so I'm going to be grabbing out some of these enchanted night crawlers, and I'm also going to be going ahead and grabbing out some of these here lead bars because I would like to do a bit of fishing in the underground jungle. The reason why I want to do that is because you can get a fish called the variegated lardfish. I think it's called. Oh no, I've got the uh, I've got the wiki up to the side of me. Yeah, variegated lardfish. And basically that, with Moongo combined, will allow me to create summon potions, which basically allows me to have two squishies on me. And it'll be amazing. And it basically it means we won't have to use a, a bewitching table. Obviously a bewitching table plus the summon potion will allow us to have three squishies. So that'll be pretty damn cool. But unfortunately, we have to go fishing in the underground jungle. So that's a thing we need to be very, very aware of and also be very careful of. Because, you know... If we die, then that is going to suck just a little bit, isn't it? Okay, so, uh, we don't really have any... Uh, I don't know, man. If I go ahead and break this open a bit... In fact, no, better still, I could go ahead and merge these two large water sources together to have ourselves one very, very large jungle pond. And then we can go fishing in there, hopefully catch ourselves some variegated lardfish, and make ourselves some summon potions, because the time is coming, my friends. The time is coming! Where it will be time to take down the Eye of Cthulhu. Obviously, there's nothing really good that we can get out of the Eye of Cthulhu in terms of summoning stuff. But, goddamn it, we're going to go ahead and give it a really good try anyway. So, yeah. Let's make our way down into the underground jungle. And let's get this pond dog out, shall we? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, slime is falling from the sky. Squishy's buddies. They've all come along. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious, man. I've been the blooming process of trying to make myself a fishing area. And blooming Terraria is just like, nope. I'm going to go ahead and chuck Squishy's buddies in the mix to kill you. Ah, oh, man. Squishy, what is wrong with your friends, man? Why why do they have to want to kill me? Hmm? Why? Why, I say, why? I don't know, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and get on with that in just a second. I'm just in the process of uh, doing this so we can safeguard ourselves while we are doing uh, the fishing down here. So, yeah. All right. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. All right, and all we need to do now is get rid of this little platform down here. And bada bing, bada boom, we will indeed uh, be good to go. Okay. Oh, oh god damn it. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Oh, god. There we go. Boom. Boom, there we go, and boom, 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 there we go, got out, sweet, alright man, this is looking cool, we got ourselves a little fishing base in the underground jungle, in the cavern layer as you can see there, and yeah, we're now going to head back to base and we are going to delve into the slime rain event, this is certainly going to be an interesting one, wouldn't it be ironic if we managed to get ourselves a slime staff from this event, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not going to lie, I'd be kind of annoyed if that happened. But also kind of surprised because it is a very, very, very low chance of getting a slime staff, isn't it? It's still, it's still like one in ten thousand. Stupidly rare. All right, Squishy, can you like, uh, can you, can you like, please, man? 
Come on, man. All right, let's uh, let's get back to base where it's going to be all nice and bright. Oh God, duh. Oh, there's loads of people. There's loads of people. There's loads of people. Right, I'll tell you what. While the slime rain event is going on, on a sec, I, I can go ahead and capture this guy. There we go. A little bit of a. A wormy worm. We're gonna head back to base and we are going to be making ourselves- God damn it! We're gonna be going ahead, getting back to base and making ourselves a bed so our spawn point is properly set because it's five episodes in and we still don't have a bed. What is up with that, man? What is up with that? Here's the question I'm putting to you guys right now. What is up with that? Right, now then. Let's do uh, uh, this. Hey, 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 squishy, 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 please. Squishy, why you do this? Why you do this? Why you allow me to get hurt? You bum. Why? Okay, right. So. Oh my god, these guys aren't giving up, are they? Alright, so we've got ourselves a bunch of cobweb and... Yeah, man. Oh my lord. Just, just, oh my lord. There's so many dudes around, it's actually kind of crazy. Right, we're going to be going ahead and putting the sawmill down. Uh, who should we give the sawmill to? I'm going to give the sawmill to the... Oh yeah, we can't put them up here, can we? We haven't got any space. Dang it! I didn't really think about that too well, did I? Alright, and uh, we've got to make ourselves a, a loom. I'll tell you what. I don't think it'd hurt if I did this. If we make sort of little layers with different bits of furniture on top of it. There we go. I don't see why that shouldn't work. Alright, here we go. Uh, it's five bits of silk, is it not? Uh, bed. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Spore point set. Fantastic. We got ourselves that done. And yeah, now we are going to focus down these slime dudes. And uh, I don't know, maybe King Slime will spawn. Maybe he won't. I don't know. But if he does spawn, then it's going to be our first ever naturally spawning boss that we've got on this playthrough. So, it's going to be interesting to say the very least. Right. Hello! <laughs> All these blooming slimes. I feel like this isn't the best place to take him down. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure all the torches and the NPCs being around here decreases the spawn rate. Unless I'm mistaken, of course. In which case, do correct me. But I'm pretty sure having NPCs around the place actually decreases enemy spawn rates. So, yeah! Alright, I'll tell you what guys, uh, you know, we're pretty much just going to be hanging around here and killing slime, so I don't see a reason why I should keep you guys with me, unless of course King Slime spawns, in which case I'll bring you guys back, but we're going to go and continue on trying to kick all these slimes butts, and yeah, oh that guy's got a gold coin inside him, hey man, sweet, <laughs> thanks buddy, much appreciated, alright, let's get on with it friends, oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, King Slime is among us, I was not expecting this. Let's see what boss we got on us. Oh, we got an iron skin potion. Oh my god. Squishy. Uh, I can't say I'm entirely sure how I'm going to do this, but goddamn, we're going to give it a really good shot. Maybe I could just cheese him out by doing this. Oh, hi, man. I'm just going to sort of go in and outside and see how it goes. All right. 1700 health, man. Can we actually do this? Yes or no? Tis the question. Oh, these slimes, man. They're literally everywhere. They're actually kind of hurting. Ah, uh, slime has stopped falling from the sky. Puck, <laughs> little slime, little squishy. Come on, Did I, I like keep calling him slimy. All right, man. I'm sorry, Bomb. <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god, this is like the most cheesiest, newbiest way of taking down King Slime. But god damn it, if it works, I'm gonna freaking do it, man. <laughs> Fourteen hundred health. Thirteen hundred. Squishy, he's he's dwindling down his health slowly but surely. Most of the time he's only doing like three to four damage per time. Look at it. Nine, four, three. I'm seeing two damage on some of them. <laughs> oh, hold on. He seems to get strong as you go along. Oh. oh, man. Come on, man. He's getting down to a thousand health. Could we actually do this? Ow. Come on. I got a hundred. I got just over half health, man. Uh, ow, 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 get me out, get me out, Sli uh, squishy, come on, you can do this, I got faith, ah, no, this is gonna be the enemy, I don't think I could do this, man, unless I just like, oh, hi, man, there we go, uh, I got 15 seconds until I can use my thing, Oh my god, this is terrible. This is terrible, man. Oh my god, he's got a quarter health left. I don't think I can do this, man. What if I if I go back over here? I never know. Ah! <sighs> Squishy, he's not quite powerful enough, man. I tell you what, if we had a summon potion, I think he might have had it, man. I honestly... He stays? Oh my god, this is terrible, man. 
King Slimy stays! <laughs> I died, but he blooming stays here! What the hell? I didn't know he did that. Uh, well, okay. Maybe I should utilize the NPCs and keep him nearby. Or he can always stay there and, you know, get stuck. Wait, he's not even teleporting. Hey, what's he doing? I think he's actually legitimately stuck. In which case, Squishy, I'm just going to sit back here. Ah, I'm just sat back here with my hands behind my head. Nothing going on. Not touching the keyboard. Not touching my mouse. Just watching Squishy take down the world. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something. I did not expect that. I thought all bosses despawned as soon as you died. But King Slime simply didn't. So... That's kind of cool. Hey, check it out. We've got ourselves a new hook. We've got a slime hook. Fantastic. We've got ourselves a slimy saddle, too. We have ourselves our first saddle. Oh, this is the greatest day. Oh, my God. This is actually the greatest day ever. I, I, I'm i loving this, man. All right. <laughs> I can't believe we did that, man. Our first boss. I mean, yeah, we did die, but we still took him down, though. It's amazing. I love it, man. All right, solidify. You're going right there. And obviously, uh, yeah, here we go. We can make slime blocks. Both tasty and flammable. Oh, oh, can be placed material. Wait, it's a material? I kind of want to see what it's a material for, because I don't think I've ever worked with it before. Uh, right, here we go. Crafting. Slime block. Oh, it can be made into slime furniture. Frozen slime block. Wow. Uh, slime block wall. Uh, slime block chest. Slime clock. <laughs> wow. Uh, slime platform. Hey, man, what the hell? I, mean, I don't see a reason why not. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. GG's Terraria for including slime furniture as a thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there we go, guys. That is our first boss fight. We defeated him. Well, I should say semi-defeated him. I mean, we did defeat him, but we did die, so... Yeah. It's still a defeat, though, for Squishy. Squishy still defeated him. And like I said, I think with the summon potion... I think we would have easily been able to have that. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to head back down to the jungle and our fishing pond. We're going to do some fishing, and we are going to go and see if we can't get some variegated lard fish. Back in a mo. Alrighty, guys, I am now inside of the little fishing hut. It is the worst fishing hut known to man since ever. And uh, I've done a little bit more research, and it turns out the variegated lard fish, the uh, chances of catching it is one in seven. So it is moderately rare. We're definitely not going to be able to catch it as much as, let's say, other fish, but we should still be able to get some. We've got specular fish, we've got neon tetra. Obviously, the specular fish, I believe, is used for the... what is it? The recall potion. But obviously, we don't need that because we have the good old, you know, magic mirror. So, yeah. Got ourselves some bomb fish, though, so I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Let's get some fishing done. We're going to go until we've run out of uh, bait, I guess. And we'll see just how many variegated live fish we can get. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't say I'm entirely sure how that happened, but okay. I mean, the NPCs are apparently killing themselves. Is my summoning house not good enough for you guys? What the hell, man? <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I can't say I was expecting that one, but, eh, golden cup. Why not, man? Hey, there we go, my friends. And funny enough, that was the last piece of bait we had. We managed to get one variegated lardfish. We got a golden carp, an iron crate, and a wood crate. So, not a bad haul, if I do say so myself, my friends. But, as you can see by the water, we have ourselves a blood moon. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Right, well, I guess it's going to be interesting trying to survive against these bunch of bots. Right, now then, if we go ahead... Oh, God, the dripplers. Oh, everybody's here. Okay, oh, these dripplers apparently have defense. <laughs> Only doing one damage per to them per time. God damn it. Okay, right. Uh, I need some water. Okay, so we've got the moon glow. We've got the bottles. We need to get some water, and then we should be able to make ourselves a summon potion. Which will be very, very good for boss fights. So, yeah, here we go. Bottle of water. Do, 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 do. Let's head up here. And there we go. Summoning potion. Lasts for six minutes. Okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. All right. Hey, hey, what the? There's a jungle bat in my house? Hey, man. What the hell is this, man? There's freaking jungle bats and zombies in my house. Hey, man. Get out of these silly idiots. All right. Here we go. Summoning potion. Boom. There we go. 
increases maximum number of minions for six minutes. Six minutes should be more than enough to take down a boss of sub description, i.e. the Eye of Cthulhu, perhaps. Or, I don't know, maybe even Queen Bee, but I'm not really... I don't think I'm comfortable to the point where I could take down Queen Bee just yet. So, yeah, there's a zombie arm out there, which, of course, is going to be sold, so... Yeah, but, you know, we've got a Blood Moon going on. I mean, probably the best thing we could get from this is the money trough, I guess. So, yeah, if we manage to get one, then that will be awesome. If not, then it doesn't matter, we've got a deal. We'll go ahead and get on with this Blood Moon, see what we get. And if we manage to get something cool, I will, of course, show you guys. So, yeah, back in a moment. Alrighty guys, that is the end of the Blood Moon. Unfortunately, we didn't really get a great deal of stuff from that, apart from, you know, money. But, eh, it's better than nothing, just getting a little bit of money. We've got 17 gold coins now, which is awesome. And I'm debating whether or not to open up these crates now, or in hard mode. Because I don't really think there's a great deal of stuff that I think I'd want from these pre-hard modes. So, I don't know, I might leave that to you guys. Should I go ahead and open these up in hard mode, or should I do it now? And, you know, we might, we might get something cool, but I'm not entirely sure at this point, so... Yeah, leave your responses in the comments area below. But, yeah, and something else you guys were correctly pointing out is the fact that I should be making some of these. There we go. There we go. And, of course, by doing that, we'll be able to, you know, put Slimy or Squishy where he's supposed to go. I keep calling him Slimy. My memory is so bad. Holy crap. Okay, and the reason why I'm leaving three stars behind is just so, you know, it's in the ammo slot there. So I don't have to keep jigging around the ammo and whatnot. So, yeah. Things are looking good, man. Things are looking good. I think what I want to do for the remainder of the episode is try to get some more variegated lard fish. So, I think what I may have to do... Oh, God. I need to improve my storage situation, too, to be honest. Uh, maybe what I should do is what I normally do. Have a chest for fishing stuff and then a stuff... I mean, a chest for fishing yield. So, here we go. Boom. Boom. And, of course, we'll go ahead and rename them accordingly. So, fishing stuff... And this one is going to be fishing yield. So it should relieve a bunch of space in my storage chest at the moment. So, yeah. But as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and grab a whole bunch of bait, hopefully. And we're going to go back down to the underground jungle in an attempt to try and grab ourselves a whole bunch more awesome stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to be back in just a moment, my friends. Oh! Look at that. Bottom right-hand corner. This blinky plant here has revealed a blooming heart container. <laughs> That's incredible. I was not expecting that. Thank you, Blinky Plant. All right, I guess all we got to do is dig our way over to it and go and get this damn thing. Well, hello. I thank you all very much. There we go. 220 health is now the amount we have, which is awesome. The more the better, of course. And the die trader just moved in, which is brilliant because I literally just managed to pick up a strange plant. But obviously, we'll do that in just a little bit. I'm still in the process of grabbing some bait. So, yeah, I'm going to continue on with this. And, yeah, I'll be back in just a moment. Oh, gold worm. Oh, baby, look at it, man. <laughs> Brilliant. The reason why I get so excited about capturing gold critters, including that gold carp, is I believe they sell for they sell for 10 gold coins each, right? Man, it's a lot if it is the case. Holy mother of God. Alright, Mr. Die Trader. I've got one strange plant to trade with you. What you gonna give me? Acid die. Uh, <laughs> uh I'm not entirely sure about this. Yeah, I don't think I like that. Can I can I sell you these? Oh, they sell for a total of two gold? Wow, I mean, how are you? I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I'm going to sell this as well, simply because it's got really low bait power. I want to have things that have got, like, good bait power. I don't know, 20% or higher. Seems like a good amount to me. So, that's kind of cool. But yeah, aside from that, guys, we're going to go down and get some fishing done. Holy crap! Guys! We just killed that undead miner and got ourselves a bone pickaxe. For those of you guys who don't know, the Bone Pickaxe is actually among the quickest pre-hard mode pickaxes there are. And obviously we had to get one that had less speed on it, so obviously I can't really demonstrate to you that. Oh wait, hold on a sec. That guy dropped a mining helmet as well. What? I didn't know they could do that. What the hell, man? Hold on, I kind of want to try this out just to see how quick it is. Well, you know, heavy... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't demonstrate the true power of my bone pickaxe because it's got a blooming prefix that has got less speed on it. What a bunch of poop. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, there we go, my friends. I decided to go for only three variegated lard fish simply because we only have three moon glow, and as a result, we will be able to make ourselves three more summoning potions. So yeah, let's get out of here, friendos, and let's um, make other things. Or let's let's not, and let's go ahead and grab the water bottles, and then we can go ahead and make other things. And yeah, all will be good to go. So I've made a bit of a decision with regards to crates, and I think you guys will like it. In that these specialized crates, the biome crates, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these now. Okay? And as a result, what we should be able to get is some of the things you might find in the jungle shrine chest. So things like the ankle of the wind, boomstick, feral claws, staff of regrowth, even the fiberglass fishing pole. Apparently you can get them from these jungle crates. So here we go. Anything? Nope, just a bunch of lead bars and a bunch of, well, poop to be honest. We've got ourselves some journeyman bait and some mana potions. So unfortunately those two crates were there weren't very lucky, but of course we are going to be going ahead and keeping hold of these crates to open in hard mode. So yeah, should be cool my friends, it should be cool. But anyways guys, I think on that note, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like right, it'll be much appreciated. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos. Oh, uh, but thank you very much for watching guys. Your support, as I was saying, has been very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.